Hey, folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. This video for Monday, January 23rd, 2012, is sponsored by Realtick. All right, let's get right into the mix, guys. We have some interesting action in today's market. First off, the market's opened flat on the day, made a big, strong surge higher, taking out the 132 level on the SPY, then a reversal came came in between 10 and 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. The market sold off, going down to this little pivot low area right here. If I draw a line right there, you can see clearly that was the pivot line of support. Markets come right into that area, and then volume takes over, and by volume, I mean light volume, and the markets flow neutral to higher. Now, we're sitting just below the break-even point on this market. The Dow is down 24 points, NASDAQ down 5, S&P 500 is down about a point and a half, and again, we're just holding slightly negative on the day. Now, the key thing today is to understand that the market is in a period where you start to look for a little bit of a pullback. This is something we alerted our members to last week. We positioned ourselves late last week for a small pullback here. If you want those calls, you take the seven-day free trial to the Research Center. You log in, look at the hot charts and alerts, and all the live trades are there for you. All right, so again, I encourage you to come here to InTheMoneyStocks.com, take that seven-day free trial to the Research Center, and start making money like we have been making money nonstop this year. This year's been a great year so far. It's only going to get better as the volatility starts to pick up and the light volume eventually subsides. Now, the key again is notice this pattern here. Normally, this would be known as an in-spirit of bear flag. Notice the big move down here and then sideways consolidation into resistance. But the one thing you have to be careful of is the light volume. Volume, again, we've done $85 million on this day today. It's nearing the 2.30 p.m. time frame, only an hour and a half or so left in the trading day. And with that light volume, there's no guarantee an in-spirit of bearish pattern plays out. Yes, it does slightly favor it, but again, with the light volume, it only is maybe slightly more than 50-50 at this point in time. Okay, so again, that's your pattern recognition there. And again, you can see the interesting thing about the market today, you definitely had a, a nice move up, then you had a great move down, and now a nice move up. It's been firm moves. It hasn't really been whippy. Whippy is more, you know, up, down, up, down, up, down like this. It has more just been one firm move, another firm move in the opposite way, and then another move back to the upside. Now, what else is going on here today, folks? What else are we seeing? Well, natural gas is having a monster move today. The UNG is trading up almost 8%, so nat gas up about 8% on the day. The reason behind this is simple. Chesapeake Energy, a natural gas company, said they were going to stop producing some natural gas. So they were going to stop some drilling and producing of natural gas and bringing it to market. Now, why is that significant? Because essentially what it tells us is that at current prices where natural gas was prior to today's rally, the natural gas price was not profitable for these companies. So if, if Chesapeake is stopping production, there must be a bunch of other companies out there probably thinking the same thing. If a lot of natural gas stops being brought to market and found and so forth, you're going to see essentially a rise in natural gas's price. Why? Because it takes away supply, then demand starts to take over, supply-demand rules, and price goes up. So again, this is very important for anyone interested in investing in natural gas because essentially it puts a floor in the natural gas price. You know natural gas is not going to go much below $2.25 per nat gas square cubic feet there because the main factor again is if it goes below that level, you're going to see people stop producing and therefore price can't go any lower as demand takes over. Plus at this price, eventually over the next year or two, you're going to see more and more people switching to nat gas for trucks and so forth, and price will eventually go up based on demand increasing anyway. So again, floor natural gas in my opinion. Would I be buying up here? Probably not. Probably not. I'd let it pull back maybe after another day or so of a move up. And then once you get that pullback, I think any sort of retrace down towards those lows again, you pick it up. And this is your daily chart. I mean, nat gas, this is the UNG. What a fall. I mean, <laughs> you don't see falls like this too often. Granted, the UNG isn't an exact tracker of natural gas, but it's pretty darn close. Now, let's take a look at oil today. Oil's up again, um, bouncing back just a little bit from a little sell-off last Thursday and Friday. More issues with the Straits of Hormuz and Iran and, and other stuff like that. That's keeping pressure on uh, the USO, which is the nat uh, excuse me, the oil ETF. A couple other stocks in motion today. What else are we looking at? Let's take a look. Amazon.com down about $4.50. Notice the big move up. All right, big move up here, and then price needs to come back in. This is nothing more than a little profit-taking after a huge move on Amazon. In addition, Apple Computer 
which reports earnings tomorrow after the market closes, getting a bounce back after a pretty ugly day on Friday, bouncing right back up and negating that entire move today as it continues to hold steady near the highs of the chart going into the earnings announcement tomorrow after the close. All right, and again, that's a very, very intriguing stock to watch on earnings. JP Morgan, let's take a look at JPM. JPM still up 10 cents. A little bit of a tail here, though. Very, very nice little tail. We will see again. Notice this little pivot right here. If I draw a trend line and look at that, perfect resistance level right there. All right, pierces it, pulls back as we enter the second, really last hour and a half of the trading day at this point. All right, some other key plays out there. What else have, has made moves? Well, Sears Holding. Let's take a look at SHLD. Great reversal on this, folks. It went from being up at 55 bucks a, a share to back all the way back down, flat on the day or just slightly negative at around 48 and change. What a reversal on this. That is a short-term topping tail as well. The stock, again, had run up tremendously on a short squeeze based on buyout rumors. It was due for a pullback. You'll continue, to, in my opinion, to see a pullback, probably back down to about the 43, 44 area. Right, and again, good little chart pattern there. Really an amazing move up where it went from $30 to about 50 and change. That's an unbelievable run in about two weeks on Sears Holdings. Other plays out there, let's take a look. Uh, we did see some movement on some of the key small caps today. SCEI, which has pulled back a little bit. I love this chart pattern, folks. And again, good consolidation above two moving averages and a nice little pop today, although it's pulled back off those highs as the market has gotten a little bit weaker. Other Chinese stocks have also made some decent moves today as well. Those stocks are still beaten down, and we will continue to watch to see if they continue their move. Um, what else? Exxon Mobil's trading flat. Chevron's trading flat. Nothing doing there. Google's down about a dollar. Remember, they had some ugly earnings last Thursday after the close. Stock got hammered on Friday, and again, you can see you're holding steady here. I'm not going near Google until it hits the 200, but right here around the 200 is a beautiful level. That's just a sweet area, folks, for a buy. And that's right around the 560 ish, 565 area. Should it get down there, I think that's where you look for a bounce in Google. And I guess, I, my guess is it will happen in the next three weeks. You'll hit that level, if not sooner. All right, again, any sort of market pullback, which again should be coming in not too, not too long if it hasn't already started, and then we should see that type of action in play. And of course, folks, we've positioned ourselves accordingly. And just like on the move up, I went into the new year saying it's going to be neutral to upside. We nailed it on many, many calls. Now, we're looking at maybe a little bit of a small pullback. Not a big pullback, a small pullback, and we're already in the money on some of those plays as well. And guess what? Once the market pulls back, we're going to go long again, and then when it pops, we're going to go short again and just continue to make money every single day. No matter what the market's doing, there's money to be made. If you want to learn this proprietary techniques, all right, we teach it to you. Come join us here, seven-day free trial to the Intraday Stock Chat, seven-day free trial to the Research Center. The profits are there. You just They're just waiting to be grabbed. We'll teach you how to do it. From step one to step ten to the point where you're expert, where you're better than hedge fund managers across the board. We have members here that we've taught for a couple years now. They're better than any man managers out there. They're making more in their portfolios than any hedge fund manager did last year. Right, we're talking about 50 to 100% returns, folks. That's the type of return you can do. It sounds ludicrous. Come try us out. It's a seven-day free trial. See what you, you find out. We're not hiding anything. It's pure and simple open. You come here. You can look at the hot charts and alerts. You can scan back, see how many winners we had what the latest plays have been, and so forth. The proof is in the pudding. All right, guys, we hope to have you here soon with us. Come join us. Come join the growing group of elite traders. You want to be in the upper echelon? You want to be known as the elite group? Then you're here at InTheMoneyStocks.com. That's simple. Take care, guys.